Chapter 1, The Coach's Quest In a cosy study bathed in the soft glow of late evening, Coach Inthophyte, known to his followers as a passionate advocate for ancient wisdom, sat with a determined look. Surrounded by texts of scripture and celestial maps, he was on a mission to use modern AI technology to validate the ancient celestial clock calendar described in the Book of Enoch. I've always believed in the accuracy of the scriptures, Coach said to himself, flipping through pages of Enochian texts. But now, it's time to see if modern technology can corroborate these ancient truths. Chapter 2, The Enochian Calendar Unveiled Coach knew that the Book of Enoch provided a detailed account of celestial timekeeping. According to the ancient text, the calendar was based on the positions of the sun and moon, with specific gates marking the start of seasons. The sun's alignment with the fourth gate, for example, was crucial in determining the beginning of the year. Let's see if we can map this out with precision, Coach said as he began setting up his AI tools. Chapter 3, Entering the Digital Realm With the help of a sophisticated AI program, Coach started inputting data from the Book of Enoch. He focused on critical elements. The four gates of the sun, the alignment of the sun in these gates. Lunar phases, the appearance of the new moon and its role in marking the start of months. Seasonal changes, how these alignments define the beginning of seasons. AA can process astronomical data far more efficiently than manual calculations, Coach remarked. This should help us verify the ancient system's accuracy. Chapter 4, The AI and Astronomical Data Coach fed historical astronomical data and scripture-based parameters into the AI system. The Ari's task was to calculate celestial alignments and compare them with the Enochian calendar. After hours of computation, the AI presented its findings. Sun in the fourth gate, the AA confirmed that, for the year 2024, the Sun would indeed align with the fourth gate around June 21. This matched the Enochian description of the year's start. Lunar alignment, the AI determined the exact date of the new moon closest to the solstice. It was clear that this alignment had to be precise to match the scriptural calendar. Seasonal markers, the Ares simulation showed that the transitions between seasons aligned with Enochian predictions when the solar and lunar alignments were taken into account. Chapter 5, Validating the Ancient Calendar With the AI results in hand, Coach reviewed the data alongside the scriptures. The findings were compelling. The ancient calendar's precision was validated by modern technology. Everything checks out, Coach declared with a sense of accomplishment. The celestial clock calendar described in the Book of Enoch is accurate. Chapter 6, Sharing the Discovery Eager to share his groundbreaking findings, Coach prepared a presentation for his followers and the wider academic community. He explained how AI had been used to validate ancient celestial timekeeping methods. Using modern technology to understand ancient wisdom is a powerful way to bridge the past and present, Coach said during his presentation. This validation of the Enochian calendar is not just a triumph of technology, but a reminder of the sophisticated knowledge possessed by our ancestors. Chapter 7, A New Perspective The revelation sparked renewed interest in ancient astronomical systems. Scholars, enthusiasts, and spiritual seekers alike were fascinated by how AI had confirmed the accuracy of ancient celestial knowledge. The scriptures weren't just metaphorical, Coach reflected in a follow-up interview. They were based on a profound understanding of the cosmos. Chapter 8, The Path Forward As Coach Inthophyte continued his investigation, he knew the task ahead was to translate his findings into practical applications. His discovery of discrepancies between the Enochian calendar and the Jewish calendar had set the stage for a broader re-evaluation of timekeeping practices. Now, the challenge was to communicate these insights in a way that could inspire change and deeper understanding. Let's synthesize this information, Coach said to his team, laying out a detailed plan. We need to illustrate not only where the discrepancies lie, but also how we can adapt our systems to align more closely with the celestial principles described in Enoch. Chapter 9, A Model of Integration Coach's team worked tirelessly to develop a prototype calendar model that incorporated the celestial mechanics from the Book of Enoch. 
They created visual aids and interactive tools that demonstrated how the Enochian calendar's key events, such as the solar gate alignments and lunar new moons, differed from the Jewish calendar. We're not discarding the Jewish calendar, Coach clarified in a community meeting. Instead, we're proposing a model that integrates Enochian celestial principles into our current understanding of time. This could enrich our spiritual practices and deepen our connection with the cosmos. Chapter 10 Engaging the Community To share his findings, Coach organized a series of workshops and seminars. These events were designed to educate participants about the celestial mechanics described in Enoch and how they contrasted with modern calendar systems. He used AI-generated simulations to visually demonstrate how the sun and moon alignments affected the start of seasons and lunar months. At these workshops, Coach explained, we'll explore how ancient scriptures describe celestial phenomena and how these descriptions can be reconciled with our current calendars. Chapter 11, Bridging the Ancient and Modern. The workshops were met with enthusiasm from scholars, religious leaders, and enthusiasts alike. The blend of ancient wisdom with modern technology provided a fresh perspective on timekeeping. Coach's presentation emphasized the importance of aligning human practices with the celestial order as described in Enoch. By integrating these celestial principles, Coach said, we can create a calendar system that honors both our ancient heritage and our contemporary needs. Chapter 12, Legacy and Impact As the year progressed, Coach's work began to influence both academic and religious communities. His efforts led to renewed interest in ancient astronomical systems and a broader dialogue about how time is measured and observed. Understanding and adapting our calendar systems based on celestial principles is more than an academic exercise, Coach reflected. It's a way to reconnect with timeless truths and harmonize our lives with the universe. Epilogue, The New Horizon the journey had revealed not only the discrepancies between ancient and modern calendars, but also the profound ways in which celestial knowledge can guide human practices. Coach Inthefite's work demonstrated the value of using both ancient wisdom and modern technology to uncover deeper truths about our place in the cosmos. As the celestial clock ticked on, the legacy of Coach's discoveries continued to inspire those seeking to align their lives with the rhythms of the heavens. His quest for truth, rooted in both scripture and science, opened new avenues for understanding time and our connection to the universe. This continuation builds upon Coach Inthefite's efforts to reconcile ancient celestial principles with modern timekeeping practices, emphasizing the impact of his discoveries and the integration of ancient wisdom with contemporary systems.